Welcome Easier Swing family. In today's video, we're going to take a good look at how to correct those pull hooks and slices off the tee and get you hitting them straight down the fairway time and time again. The good news is it's something really simple and that's coming up in this video right now. So what I'm going to talk about here is one of the most common things I see with the average golfer playing with the driver in their hand. And that is that they set up to the ball and they make one really simple mistake. And that is that, that you know your right hand has to go below your left hand if you're right-handed, obviously the reverse if you're left-handed. But as your right hand goes below your left, what happens is the shoulders end up in this position here. Now it may not look very wrong to you there, but if I show you sideways on, let's just take a look and see what's actually happened. So as my right hand came onto the golf club, What's happened here is you can see my shoulders are now misaligned to my feet. I'm now facing way to the left of my target. And because of that, what's going to happen is the club is going to tend to follow the line that my shoulders have set up. So as I swing, I'm going to tend to swing on that path there now. So how do we go about correcting this? Well, it's a really simple thing that basically has gone wrong, which is that as my right hand has gone below my left, it's twisted my shoulders out of line. And what I didn't do is I didn't compensate for this right hand being below the left by tilting my spine very, very slightly. If you can see down the center of my body here, if I tilt that very, very slightly, that allows my right hand to sit below my left. And you notice as I do that, what happens also is that my head has moved very slightly behind the ball. Instead of being over the top of the golf ball, my head is very slightly behind it. And that really helps me to set in a position that's going to help me to hit into the back of the golf ball and send it straight down the fairway. So if you've got this particular thing wrong in your game, you will be struggling with pull hooks and slices. So just check it for yourself and make sure that you've got it right. Simple way to check it is just hold a, a club be below your left eye and see if it comes to about the center of your stance. If when you're setting up to the ball, you're doing it the way I'm describing as being wrong, in this situation, you'll see if you drop a line from your left eye, it comes down kind of level with where the ball is. And that's not the right position to be in. So let's just have a look and see if we put this right now, what it actually does to my swing when I'm actually hitting the ball. So my head slightly behind the ball, my spine very slightly tilted. I'm now in a position where I can just relax and swing and get the, the club to hit into the back of the ball. So if you've just found Easier Swing, just come and join the thousands of golfers around the world who are finding an easier way to play the game. It's not technical, it's not difficult, anybody can do it and you can improve your game in the simplest possible way. You just need to check out our website, easierswing.com. You can sign up for our newsletter. We've also got the Positive Impact Golf book there where you can download the first few chapters and get a look at that, see what you think. And if you want to, you can get the rest of the book and you can also have a look at our new book, The Easier Swing in Golf. So I hope you enjoy those resources easierswing.com. Okay, so let's just take a look down the line here and see how this influences my swing if I do it in the two different ways. So the way I see, as I said, a lot of club golfers is set up like this. As I say, you can see my shoulders now pointing way off to the left and my head is slightly too far forward. Now, what's it going to do to my swing? Well, in the swing, my swing is going to tend to follow the path that those shoulders have set up with right from the, the get-go. I'm going to tend to want to be on the outside here, coming across the ball, which is either going to pull the ball left of the target, giving me either a pull or a pull hook, or it's going to create a slice. So both things happening from the same setup position. Now watch as I just correct from that position into the position I actually want, where I tilt my spine very slightly, my shoulders square themselves up, you can check this for yourself, make sure your shoulders are pointing in the right direction, parallel with your toes. And once you've done this, now you're ready to take your easy swing and finish well. Always remember to finish well, and that should help you to hit every single drive straight down the fairway. So just looking at that, 
as you can see, that very slight change in my spine angle allows me to swing the club on a much better path and hit the ball straighter far more often. And how does it combine when you think about it with La Dance de Golf and all the other things that we talk about in Easier Swing? Well, if you want to, you can actually make that slight tilt there to start with and then still do La Dance de Golf. It's exactly the same thing, nothing changes. It's a very, very simple movement, but perhaps just a very slight tilt there to start with will help you to remind yourself that you've got to set this up correctly to start with. It's particularly noticeable with the driver because with the driver the ball is so much further forward in the stance. This is where very easily, if you're not careful, you can get dragged to this forward position. Your head moving forward, your shoulders coming out of line and setting up in that position there. It doesn't tend to affect so much the shorter irons and the mid irons because they're more in the centre of the stance. It's when the ball gets forward that this tends to happen. And it's one of the reasons, not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons that people tend to slice a driver more than any other club in the bag. Just remember to check this out. Make sure that you get your head set in the right place there to start with. Tilt the spine very slightly, right hand below the left, and that will set you in a perfect position to allow you to make a good natural swing, not having to do anything different in your golf swing, but just allowing yourself to swing the golf club on a better path and hit that square shot time and time again. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have please don't forget to like and subscribe below and also tell your friends about it. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.